Good morning. I got up at 8.30 today, which is like the earliest I've gotten up my entire time in Sweden so far, but it's for a good reason. I'm going to an opera rehearsal today for Aniara, which is like the classic Swedish modern opera, and it's being co-produced by a theater from Finland and a choir from Philadelphia, which is kind of weird, but it's at the Baltic Sea Festival. The rehearsal is supposed to go until 8 p.m. tonight, so that should be fun and interesting. And yeah, excited to take you along. Stay tuned. <laughs> rehearsal has gone really well so far. It's been very interesting to see them put it together, especially because the singers only flew in last night and so they only have like two days, probably like 14 hours of rehearsal total to put this entire like semi-staged opera production together. So a lot of the process revolves around balance and sort of trying to make sure that like all of the amplification works out correctly. Else is happening. I did get the score airdrop to me, which is huge because I have no idea where I would have gotten it otherwise. Here is my 270 page Aniara score. Like, I would give a tour, but I'm just sort of annotating what comes to mind, like when they're playing through it. I really like the writing. Whoever wrote this put it here. It has, it's very, like, sort of accessibly oriented choral styles, but really interesting and I guess pleasant listening even though it's not entirely tonal, so I'm enjoying it. Mostly just vibing here in this concert hall because I have no responsibilities other than to like watch. Excited to take you along for tomorrow's rehearsal as well. Hello, welcome to an interlude I'm going to call the way that Ellie's brain deals with logistics as dictated or rather as inspired by her mother Lisa Murphy who is the most efficient person I know. So I had, we had a two hour break in between the rehearsal where a lot of the choir I think went to the Vasa Museum which is like the Viking boat that's been preserved which is really really cool but I have been there before so I didn't need to go. So I took the bus back to where I'm staying, had lunch, and made like three important phone calls which was really good. Okay, so now I'm headed back to rehearsal but what is different you may ask? I'm wearing a sports bra and my practice uniform under the sweater and my running shoes because it's gonna be nice out tonight and I like running around the area that the concert hall is in so I'm going to leave my bag with my like iPad with the score on it and my camera and like my valuables basically in the like sort of secure area of the concert hall like green room area facility and then I'm going to run around the Berald Holland area, which is like where the concert hall is, um, and then run home. And then tomorrow morning, because I'm going back to that exact place for like 12 hours tomorrow, I'll just grab it and then I will have all my supplies for rehearsal, but I'll still be able to go for a run tonight. And thus concludes my interlude segment. Bye. <laughs> Jimmy, yeah, I say, 
Yes. Movement. Like a hold of bill with pretty uh, 13. The Jörg dance. Uh, it's a, I would say it's a sleigh. But it's not a serve. It's a, yeah. Thank you. I'm not a slur. And my third favorite movement is uh, movement 10, in which we reenact the annihilation of the city of Sinombra. Why is it your first favorite? Because it's got uh, pathos and drama and octopi arising from the deep, but dead. Welcome back. I've retrieved my camera. Let's go back to rehearsal. currently on break and I was sort of feeling tired lying in the sun and trying to photosynthesize in Barrois Tallinn but then I remembered that I have free will and I have brought myself to my favorite park in Stockholm because it has a hill with a view and also a lovely brook and some nice lawns so now I'm here I'm very happy and then I'm gonna go meet with the opera composer a little bit later, so. I saw this last time was I was here and I wanna go so badly. <laughs> with the opera composer it was fascinating we had a really long like hour long but very intense and deep immediately very deep discussion about like philosophical drama and the ways in which opera companies need to like really work very closely with their composers to make sure that the operas that they're trying to put on are feasible and like what the company wants out of it first of all instead of sort of like the Royal Opera, giving free reign to a composer and then having 10 commissioned operas just like sitting in the basement. So that was fascinating. I came into this project thinking so much about like changing opera purely on a musical basis that I forgot about the entire sort of plot drama driven part of it. So I've definitely been thinking about that a lot more and he was a really good person to talk to about that. So super good and now I'm going back into four to seven hours of Aniara rehearsal. Wish me luck. Hello, it is 9.30 p.m. I've been in this concert hall for 12 hours now with some excursions in the middle, but I think I'm gonna head home. This rehearsal ends at 10 and I don't feel like staying and I have free will. And it's just like a run through in costume of the performance, which I'm seeing tomorrow because I paid for a ticket. So I think it should be fun. Hopefully we'll like get to see the cast and the directors a little bit more tomorrow as well because I really like hanging out with them and yeah.
this has been a fun little two-day ride and I still have some leftovers from dinner actually <laughs> Korean fried chicken like bao situation and like a kale salad so I think I'm gonna eat that really quickly and then go home and go to bed and come back here at 9 30 again for more rehearsal <laughs> What up everyone? It is the night of the performance of Aniara. I just went for a run and the entire choral opera was stuck in my head during all 52 minutes of it. So the fact that I'm gonna go see it again after watching it so much that it's gotten stuck in my head will be nice and fun. But my main hope is to see if I can go out with the cast afterwards. <laughs> I'll let you know how that pans out but it's been a really fun process. And now I just get to go and reap the rewards and go to the concerts instead of going to this much rehearsal. Yes, I can. Go there, bus. Go there, bus. Bus. Go there, bus. Shots. Ram reverse. So like, Ellie, it would be like you and I. Like how fast? Oh, that's not how like mirror works. So so so. Hello. It is 2:38 a.m. and I'm just getting back from the informal after party of the concert. There was a champagne toast in the concert hall, and then we took a bus to get back to the Carter's Hotel, and then we went out to a bar called the Flying Dog and a Burger King and stayed for quite some time and it was very fun and everyone in this choir is so kind and so funny and they all told me where I should go to grad school and who I should study with and also we just had such a good time talking and they all have beautiful voices and even better senses of humor and it was a really lovely night so 10 out of 10 experience I will miss them so much it was a really really lovely three days of hanging out with them and I am sad that I won't be able to see them anymore but I'm going to bed now and I'm appreciative that I was able to have this experience in the first place so hello I got about five hours of sleep last night but I'm really sad about leaving Stockholm so I think I'm gonna run a half marathon I'm at like six and a half miles right now so I just need to finish going around the island and we'll be good. Update, we're like 11 and a half miles in and I really think it's gonna be closer to 15. So I'll let you know, but look how pretty it is. Welcome back to the show. We are now headed to our last concert on our last night in Sweden. This is sort of fittingly the Swedish Radio Choir, which is one of the best choirs in the world. And I've been at the rehearsals for the past two days. Um, so I've heard the pieces before, but there are a couple improvisations that I haven't heard yet. And every single piece is a world premiere and the composers are gonna be here. So it should be a very fun, exciting concert. I definitely already have my favorite moments in a couple of the pieces, but I'm just really excited to experience the thing as a whole because they're mostly doing sort of individual spot checks when I was in rehearsal. So it'll be nice to see the whole thing. And I'm really sad about leaving Stockholm. I have so enjoyed the city and the people here. Strangely have run into a good amount of Americans that I either know or have mutual friends with 
who have been in town, but I've also managed to network myself up to the highest echelons of Swedish classical music, whether that be at the Royal Opera or here at the Baltic Sea Festival with the radio choir. So it's just been so amazing. And even though everyone is on vacation for the first two weeks that I was here, I was still able to cram so much music into the last two weeks. So I've just had the best time here and I'm really, really sad to be leaving but not like that sad because I'm going to Switzerland and I'm really excited. <laughs>